Scott Bernstein coming at you here from OG Pod headquarters. We're going to be rolling out a Patreon very soon, $5 a month, a lot of exclusive content. I'm excited to share it with you guys. So be looking for it. Check it out. Coming in August, OG Pod, Patreon members only. Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter. We're going to go out to the heartland. Kansas City, Missouri, um, and some news that actually hit the mainstream press um, in the last couple weeks related to, well, two things. It's related to the closure of a longtime Kansas City underworld hangout. Gil Hooley's uh, on West 39th Street uh, had been in the... uh, KC mob business portfolio per se for for three decades and uh, just either late last month or early this month they shut the doors uh, in relation to a lease dispute this was written up in the Kansas City Star the Simones uh, have had have had control of Gilulis I think for at least 20 25 years um, it it was at the end of its tenure was in the hands of alleged Kansas City mob soldier Joe Pete Simone, who's in charge of kind of the younger youth movement in that small, very tight-knit Borgata. Uh, and then originally, or I shouldn't say originally, at one point in, in time, in, in terms of chain of custody, it belonged to his father, Las Vegas Pete Simone, the OG underboss um, of the uh, Sevilla crime family in Kansas City. Um, let's go back to some reporting that we had out back around the holidays, late 2023. There was a, for lack of a better term, a brawl that erupted at a popular Italian restaurant mob hangout in Kansas City called Casconi's um, involving the Simones. Um, as well as allegedly other made members, not exactly sure who was fighting who, uh, how it all, you know, logistically went down in terms of, you know, uh, a, 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 a timeline, but it was a fight and involved the Simones. It eventually within 24 hours, the issue reached the, uh, the alleged godfather of the Kansas City mob, uh, Johnny Joe Shortino, who had to, you know, convene a, hey, this isn't how we behave. This isn't how uh, we conduct ourselves as, you know, men of honor. And we didn't know exactly why. I had reported that it involved a, a dispute over business interests in a restaurant or bar. And now I can say definitively that that fight that happened in late December of 2023 related to this situation with Gil Hoolies, um, which has now shuttered. Um, and it was a business that I'm told was really hemorrhaging money over its last couple of years. And there was a lot of finger pointing o- over, you know, whose fault that was and how to kind of dig themselves out of that hole. Um but anyway, the, the 79-year-old, 78-year-old underboss of the Kansas City mob was involved in this, you know, this round of fisticuffs. Um, and it, it appears that some made members, non-made members might have put their hands on him. Uh, and this is what Johnny Joe had to come in and, and settle. So I'm told that all of this, you know, fanfare from the media about the closing of Gil Hooley's, if you kind of scratch beneath the surface, it's more than just this, this this lease dispute between allegedly between Joe Pete and the owner of um, the, the, the building. Um, I know Joe Pete in the article comes off very angry and, and, and I, I, I've heard that what he's saying is true, that he, he put a lot of his own money into, you know, certain things in that, uh, in that establishment, the bar, um, you know, other improvements that were only, you know, due to him, uh, and that, you know, he's angry that, that they can't keep control of the, of the property because of the lease. Um, but there were some other issues. And again, I, I don't know the specifics of it, but the issues that were happening in Gil Hooley's led to this fight at Casconi's 
back in December of 2023. And then finally, I will say that uh, the story behind how Gil Hooley's got into this Kansas City mob, you know, business portfolio uh, is, you know, just one of those old tried and true stories of when you do business with members of the mob, um, you know, come hell or high water, you're going to pay. Uh, and I'm told the original owner of Gil Hooley's had a big gambling debt and he gave he gave up the business uh, to the Kansas City mob as a way to pay that debt. Originally, it was given to Johnny Mandacina, a uh, mob enforcer, convicted murderer, just came out of prison last year on a medical. Uh, and then when Mandacina went to prison, I believe it was in 92 or 93, uh, the business passed to the Simones. So, you know, Joe Pete Simone, again, is... Uh, this is all, you know, allegations and accusations, nothing proved um, that he is, you know, kind of that the, the head of the younger guys. None of them, I'm told, are made, but guys that work for uh, the administration of, of that crime family, which are all OGs, you know, guys that go back to the 60s and 70s with the, you know, the Sevilla brothers. So. The notion that there is no Kansas City mob and anybody that's telling you that doesn't know what they're talking about. Um, it's obviously not anywhere near what it was. It's um, it's small. It's insular, but it's still there. Uh, and Joe Pete is, uh, you know, a guy who used to be a minor league baseball player. He tried to be an actor. Uh, but right now, according to our sources here, according to people on both sides of the law, he's uh you know, following in his dad's footsteps, Las Vegas Pete. So that's uh, our report from Kansas City. Please like, subscribe, uh, and share. We got the Patreon coming out pretty soon. Look for that. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.